welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to share my little Halloween slash fall following, I guess? House decor, house tour. I will also share four, technically five decoration ideas, um, DIY decor ideas that I did to decorate my house. And we will do those DIYs together and I will put all that together and show you the final result towards the end of the video. But real quickly, before we begin, please click that subscribe button. The YouTube algorithm is not very kind to us small YouTubers. So clicking that subscribe button and that like button will really help me out. And now that that's been said, let's get started. And guys, this is a very long video, the longest video I've ever made. So make sure to grab a snack, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Alrighty, so here is the before picture. It's very, very plain. I don't really have any decorations at all, <laughs> except for my little empty apothecary jars right there in the center. All of the items are actually very affordable. Most of it is actually from Dollar Tree, and I did get a lot of sale items from Hobby Lobby and Target, Dollar Spot, and all of that. But um, if you want, details on where I got each item, let me know. Um, I do have some hauls planned. Unfortunately, they didn't fit in my schedule for this month. I will definitely have those hauls uploaded within the next couple of weeks for sure. Um, I'm planning on uploading them for the first couple of weeks of November. But if you really want to know where an item is from, then just let me know in the comment section and I will let you know. So as I've mentioned in my videos before, I like the very cutesy, glitzy side of Halloween. Um, I'm not really into the gore and the scary stuff. So I wanted to, of course, bring a little touch of Disney. And so I decided to use these ornaments from Dollar Tree. And I got some packs of the big ones, as you see here, and uh, a pack of the small ones. Um, I did use purple, black, and orange. It's just my color theme, so uh, it worked out perfectly. So the small ones, I did screw off the little gold part, the ornament hanging gold part, and I'm just going to hot glue it right on top, just like Mickey ears. This is such an easy and cheap DIY, so that is what I'm going to be doing to all of the ornaments. And here is the final result. The back won't look as pretty. You can put like little diamonds or something to kind of hide the glue in the back if you really want to, but um, didn't really bother me. The hot glue was clear anyways, so. Um, but I think it turned out really cute. I kind of mixed and matched the colors and the textures. Um, as you see here, and I just love the final result. They look so cute. And I just ended up using the little ornament thread that it came with, as well as some clear thumbtacks to hang them up on the little archway that leads into my dining table, or dining room, and it turned out perfect. They look like little floating Mickey heads. So I wanted a little area dedicated to pumpkins because I have mentioned before that I absolutely love pumpkins. So I have a variety of pumpkins from Dollar Tree, Party City, um, Hobby Lobby. I created a little pumpkin bouquet right in the center and these little brooms are actually from the Target dollar spot and it's, it turned absolutely amazing. I love how glittery it is and of course I added Mickey at the bottom. Um, that's a little bow that I made out of some extra tool that I had left over. I'm not too crazy about it, but hopefully next year I'll think of something better. But yes, I just love this little area. It has Mickey guarding the pumpkins. He's a little scarecrow and it just turned out so adorable. And I actually tried to find an orange vase, but I couldn't find one in time. So I just took some of this really pretty orange ribbon from Dollar Tree and I just kind of twirled it in there and it turned out perfect. I added this little lantern string light and just to brighten up the area a little bit. I actually got this from Walmart a couple of years ago but I did find them at the Target dollar spot. They were orange though, they weren't the, this pretty purple color but pretty much the same exact thing 
and I just wrapped around some of that tulle ribbon just to hide the wire and it was so pretty. I love how it looks like when it's lit up at night. So gorgeous. So right next door to that little pumpkin patch area is my dining table area. So this is where I used some of that tulle ribbon and I have it just like flowing down. I used double stick tape to make that little effect. And then here are our little Mickey Mouse ear ornaments that we created earlier. And I just placed each of the Mickey Mouse ornaments in between each loop that I made with this garland. This garland is actually from Walmart a couple of years ago and I believe they have this at Dollar Tree as well as Walmart again. So in case you're on the lookout. I really wanted curtains but I did not have time to find Halloween curtains. So I just did the same thing with the tool on this side and then I just draped some of that same garland. These are actually jack-o'-lanterns whereas the purple were little bats. And this is my dining table. No one actually eats here so that's why I get to decorate it. Um, I also don't have like a fireplace mantle or anything so I kind of use this as my fireplace mantle. I tried to make the placement of the items as equal as possible. Um, all of these items, almost all of them, are from either Dollar Tree, Dar Target, Dollar Spot. Um, I do have these LED candles from Amazon, I believe. Um, they're all really, really affordable. And I couldn't find a Halloween tablecloth, so I just used that same tool and kind of alternated the colors and I created my own little tablecloth and those were little hidden mickeys that I was trying to show you. I have hidden mickeys everywhere all over my house. I did end up having a lot of extra little mini ornaments um, because I didn't end up using all of them for the mickey ears so I just have them on the little branch tree and as well as a little filler for that apothecary jar and I have little boo. I call him boo. I think his name is Scream. He's a little teeny tiny beanie baby my sister gave me. That little apothecary jar you just saw, I just filled it with some orange tulle and put a little purple pumpkin right on top to make it look kind of like a dessert. And then this is my bouquet, which is absolutely gorgeous. I use that same tulle as a filler inside the vase to cover up the um, stems of the flowers. And it turned out really beautiful. Here are some more hidden Mickeys, super cute. Um, and then any extra pumpkins I just put over into the corner against the little LED lights. And these little lanterns on either side actually do light up. And of course, my little Mickey, he is like a little Jack Skeleton version of Mickey, very cute. And the big apothecary jar I filled with a bunch of these tiny little pumpkins from Dollar Tree. And I wanted to glam up the chairs a little bit, so I took some of that extra tool and I tied it around the chairs and created a little bow at the back. And I kind of alternated the colors. Um, the two at the head of the table are purple and the other four are orange. For the next craft, I'm actually repurposing this bottle that used to hold Starbucks caramel syrup. <laughs> um, I really love the Halloween uh, themed soap dispensers. There were a lot of really cool ones at Bath and Body Works and stuff like that, but you know, it can get a little pricey. So I thought, let me just repurpose this little bottle and create my very own. So I decided to paint it black, a matte black. This is chalkboard paint and it creates a very beautiful matte black finish. And then to decorate the little soap dispenser. I ended up using some acrylic paints as well as these little hollow nail polishes that I had. Um, those picked up really well on the matte black background. And if you are actually going to use it as a soap dispenser, I suggest coating it with some Mod Podge so that it will seal in all of your designs and when it gets wet it won't like leak any of the color. So just a suggestion. So I actually ended up placing this little soap dispenser in my little coffee nook. Alrighty, so I just updated my little Keurig station and I have the little pumpkin cupcake candle going. This 
uh, probably looks familiar. All of these have been hauled recently, so make sure to check out my hauls. But this one is from Dollar Tree. Those are from Hobby Lobby, I believe. They're so pretty. They just remind me of Cinderella for some reason. Like her carriage. That's from Bath and Body. Oh, right there. And then this is a soap dispenser. This is my little Evil Queen mug. And <laughs> this I actually got from that little Harry Potter cauldron that I hauled recently, a couple weeks ago. I just kept the little, like, green bubble cardboard thing <laughs> and I put it in here. It doesn't exactly fit. It's too small, but it still, you know, gives off the little spooky vibes that I want. Um, I might just like fill this with some green tissue paper or something to make it look a little bit cooler. Alrighty, let's move on to my kitchen towels. These are my kitchen towels. I kind of need to iron that one <laughs> but I don't know I I feel like I'm going to flip it around and just do this side maybe like, like that because when I washed it um, the broom just totally I don't even know what happened Ugh. but for now I will keep this here like so I really love the little baubles at the bottom, so cute. And this is totally random, but I got this little canvas that um, I just had to share with you guys. It's actually from Burlington Coat Factory, and it has Mickey Mouse, like from start to finish in his earlier days to now, and I am absolutely in love with it. And this is my living room, and I broke out the little fall pillows. Well, those actually aren't little. They're, they're actually pretty big. <laughs> Some of that beautiful fall color into my very, very cool toned living room. And that is Mickey back there. Of course, I have to have a Mickey in every room. These are all my beautiful pillows. And here is Hedwig. I wanted to bring a little touch of Harry Potter. So I got these little flying key kits. <laughs> from Amazon. It actually came with the wings and the fishing wire and everything, so it was absolutely perfect. I do have that um, hauled in a previous video. I'll link that video down below. Um, but it was so convenient instead of having to cut out my own wings and all that. So I just hot glued the wings on the keys just like that. I also wanted the floating candles as well. So again, I took the fishing wire from that same kit and I just hot glued it around the little candles. Make sure these are glued on very securely because you don't want one of them falling on your head when you're walking past. Um, I'm just going to be using these clear thumbtacks again to kind of keep them secure up on the ceiling. So I finished placing the candles first and I made sure that they were nice and spread out and now it was time to move on to the flying keys. Again, for the most part, try to keep it even when you're kind of spreading these out. Um, the candles I kind of had hanging around the same height, but the flying keys I kind of had them kind of staggered, some were higher than others. The end result was absolutely incredible. Even my husband, who is an absolute Grinch when it comes to decorating for any holiday, he said he loved it as well and he thought it looked really cool. It looks even better in person and I mean, I'm, I was just blown away. It looks so cool. I always loved this effect from the movies. I was finally able to recreate some of that magic in my own home. Now we are finally on to the last DIY. We are going to be making the famous poison apple. So I'm starting off with this fake apple. I actually got mine from Michaels. And you want to start off by, of course, taking off the tags. And then here I'm just checking to see which side of the apple I want for my face of the poison apple. I did use reference pictures and I highly suggest that you use reference pictures. Um, it made the whole process much easier. Just make sure you're definitely using a pencil when sketching it out so that you can easily erase any mistakes that you made. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we will be going over 
the shapes and everything with paint and hot glue so it will be covered up for the most part. As you can see here, you can kind of see my little rough sketch that I have. And I just kind of went all around and did the drip marks as well so that when I apply the hot glue, um, it'll be easier for me to follow the drip pattern. So I wanted this apple to be very metallic and glittery, so I again used nail polishes. They seem to be my paint of choice. Uh, well, I started off with this one, but this one did not have any paint bristles. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know where they went, but I went with the lighter green and I'm so glad I did because the final result was so perfect. So I started with this beautiful green as my base and I decided to layer to give it more of like a 3D effect. <laughs> um, so I started off with a full coat of this paint and then I went over it with the hot glue. So the coverage of the green nail polish wasn't that great but it doesn't matter because we will be going over it with hot glue and another layer of paint so don't worry about it. When using the hot glue gun, please be careful. It is very, very hot and you will burn yourself. So just be careful. And I'm starting at the top and making sure that the drips go downwards um, because that's how it would naturally look if you were to dip it into like a, a vat of poison. So just make sure you're not turning it upside down and trying to just shape the drips. They need to kind of fall naturally like so and I'm just going over exactly where I painted the green and I actually only needed one layer of hot glue um, otherwise it would just turn out to be very thick and goopy and it was it was just perfect just one layer I unfortunately didn't get a clip of me repainting the wax or the hot glue but I did use a really pretty, glittery, and very affordable nail polish. This is probably one of my absolute favorite green nail polishes. I highly recommend, not just for crafts, but for nails as well. And I did use a detail brush to really help me get into each little groove. Um, it's actually the same nail polish that's on my nails. <laughs> the same green color that you see on my nails. That is the same color that I ended up painting over the hot glue and it just it was so glittery and so perfect i absolutely am so glad that i went with the lighter green shade you know the apple just wasn't glittery enough for me so i did go over the red parts with a red glittery nail polish and i even painted the stem a hollow brown shade I thought I would go ahead and show you which nail polishes I used. The green one is called Lucky Charming and the red one is called Hit the Floor and they're both by Pure Ice. And this brown shade by Live Love Polish, I think it's called Graham, that is the shade that I used for the stem. So I did actually end up adding this to the living room and it is so beautiful, especially at nighttime. Um, you have to see it in real life. In real life it just looks so magical so you definitely have to try this out it's absolutely beautiful alrighty so that is it for the video if you guys have stuck around for this long i am so grateful you guys are the real mvp thank you so so much i will show you some clips of the entire house with the lights on and without and i'll put some creepy music in the back Halloween music so that you can enjoy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy Halloween!